All right, so Teleo dear champs, now the Surface Laptop go or no? Well, let's find out. In this video, I'm gonna show you where it makes sense to buy it, when you wouldn't wanna buy it, and I'll actually tell you about some competitors to this. So I actually made a video on why you should not buy the Surface Pro X. Yes, that's the ARM Surface Pro from Microsoft, and so many people thanked me with that. And I'm hoping to do the same sort of thing with this. It looks really good. It actually is a good laptop for its price go through the specs but you need to know some things about this and so many people were like so thankful for me about that surface pro x video do not buy because you know it couldn't run 64-bit apps you know things were emulated things were slow the battery life wasn't as good as the surface pro 7 and no one knew that stuff and i'm going to tell you the pitfalls of buying this thing as well also what's good about it if you don't know what it is it's a new laptop from microsoft starts at 550 dollars yes and you can actually get it for 522 at the moment wow that is super cheap comes with intel's 10th generation processors it comes in at 1.1 kilos it's around 2.4 nearly 2.5 pounds so it's like half a pound lighter than the surface laptop 3 and also it is smaller as well it is still the 3 by 2 ratio which is awesome at that sort of price point, 550, it's definitely aimed at, you know, students, people that were considering Chromebooks, etc. Now, even Microsoft says, unless you're web-based, do not buy this base model. Because at 550, you're only getting 4 gigs RAM, 64 gigabytes storage, which Windows will take a hell of a lot of that storage away. And this thing is really only good for web-based stuff. If you're doing Word, Excel, web surfing, etc. School stuff. It's no good for video editing, it's no good for gaming, it's no good for storing stuff on the actual computer itself. It's basically a Chromebook, but you can run all the Windows apps, right? And you won't be able to put that many apps on it, really. 64 is going to be very tight. But at $550, it's really hard to argue with this. It's going to be much better than any Chromebook around its price point. And actually, there's not many laptops of this quality at that price point. But remember, it's just for cloud-based computing. So I think if you just got those simple productivity needs or you're a student, yes, I'll give this one a tick. But when you jump up to the next bracket, this is where you got to strongly consider what you're buying here. At $700, you get 128 gigs, 8 gigs RAM. You do get the fingerprint sensor with this one. You don't get it with the base model. But now you're getting into territory of other laptops. Now there's going to be an Apple Silicon MacBook. That thing is rumored to be $800. This is $700. For $100 more, you're going to get much more power. It will probably be better build quality overall. But if you're platform agnostic, it might be worth considering. But if you're in the Windows world, well, who cares, right? But there is a Microsoft competitor to this. And it is the Surface Laptop 3. Because have a look at this. The Surface Laptop 3 starts at $999. Okay, so it's $300 more. That's still a big difference. But... Microsoft always have 20% off sales and you'll be able to pick up that Surface Laptop 3 for around $800 when they do have it on sale and that gives you 8 gigs the same as the Surface Laptop Go the mid-spec and 128 gigs RAM but what it gives you also is a better display better quality display battery life will have to wait and see but you do get an NVMe SSD which you can upgrade you cannot upgrade the one in the Surface Laptop Go. And in actual fact, in the base model, it's actually EMC. So if you have a look in here, it's EMMC. So it's not even NVMe. These ones here, it doesn't say NVMe. I'm saying that's probably soldered in or it's probably SATA. So it's probably really slow and you probably can't upgrade it. Also, look at the processor here. Same processor across the whole line. But have a look here. It is 10th generation. It is a good processor, but G1. That's the thing you've got to look at. And this processor here is actually $300. So that shows you how razor thin the margins are. They've got to put a display, a battery, a motherboard, you know, the ports, etc. And still sell it for that $550. You know, if you ever want to know why laptops are so expensive, it's definitely Intel. I wish they would have went with AMD, actually. But the salient point here is G1. Now the Surface Laptop, if we have a look at the specifications, yes, it's a little bit heavier. You get a higher resolution display. It's a better display as well. You can also get up to 16 gigs, but we're talking about the lower end models. We're not going into the expensive stuff. But for that $800 compared to $700 for the mid-tier Surface Laptop Go, you get a G7 processor. And what that means is this has the good graphics. This is the most important thing you need to know. So if you're going to go for the mid-tier Surface Laptop Go 
for $100 extra dollars, you're going to get a much better display and a much better CPU because this CPU here has the Iris Plus graphics. So really good graphics on this one. You can actually game on this like Civilization 6. I like to game with Football Manager. But maybe you want to save that extra $100 because $100 is still a lot, right? But you've got to know, are you going to game? For example, for my wife, she's not going to game on her laptop. She just does regular office stuff, sometimes a little bit of Photoshop, whatever. But she doesn't need a beefy graphics card. This is perfectly fine for her. She's going to like it. It's going to be lighter. It will give her the performance she wants. She doesn't need the graphics card. Absolutely perfect for her. Save the 100 bucks. Get this. She will like it because it's smaller as well and lighter. For me... I'm going to play Football Manager, I'm going to play Civilization 6, and I might edit a video here and there on this laptop. And that's where you get the Surface Laptop 3. You want the G7 processor, you want the bigger display, you want the higher quality display, and if you get it at that 20% off sale, it's only $100 more. That is worth considering. Also, remember, the MacBook is coming out. If you are platform agnostic, that thing's going to be about $800, so only $100 more again. And it's going to have, you know, Apple Silicon. It's going to be super fast. And, yeah, it's going to have a great display, build quality. It's just going to be a great machine. So I hope I helped you out here like I did with those Surface Pro X customers or potential customers that dodged the bullet. I hope I helped you dodge a bullet here. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. It actually looks like a decent little product there. Just no to pitfalls catch you in the next one tally ho